Uh, for basically the last three years or so, I was using the Logitech G923. I have a separate one here. This is how it looks like. This is the wheel I've been using uh, ever since I was in Alternate Epics because there we had a Logitech sponsorship as well back in the days. And now that we have Logitech as a sponsor with Big as well, they allowed me to try out their uh, sort of new wheel. I don't, I'm not sure when exactly it came out, but it is very new, which is the Logitech G Pro, which is like a King Giga Chat wheel, usually made for sim racing. A lot of options for customers insane force feedback, all of that crazy stuff, which you technically don't need for Trackmania at all. Like, it's absolute overkill for Trackmania, to be honest. But I still want to try it out. I want to see how good it will be like. And because of that, we have it here. But yeah, you see how big this fucking package is. Look at this. It is so... Like, it's also heavy as fuck. Like, I can barely lift it up like this and it's even it's only the wheel there's not even pedals with it i think you would have to order them uh yourself if you would want them as well for sim racing we're going in we're gonna unbox it now and i'm gonna check it out and maybe if we have time i'll also try to uh install it and we're gonna try it out in trickmania and maybe i will even uh, use this wheel in the future i'm not sure yet we will see i will try it out for sure so let's open this beautiful box i'm gonna turn it around so that you guys can see it how does this work fuck now i don't see it anymore ah Tuck. Zack, and Achtung, 3, 2, 1, Tank. Do you see anything? I don't see sh Zack, Zack, Pro. Hello, that's me, I'm the Pro. Oh. Oh. It almost fell. We have this, and we have instructions on the back side. Do you see it? There's like an in-depth uh, description of how you can install it and uh, mount it to like a sim racing rig and stuff. I hope I wouldn't need that. Anyway, let's unbox. We have, what is this? Play to win it says. Do you see that? Can you read that? It's like just some cables here. We have this. We have the wheel. The wheel itself. Here it is. This is actually quite light. This is not heavy at all. And that's actually really good, guys. If I travel, I can uh, put off the things at the back. But this is the wheel. Wait, I'm gonna move. This is how the wheel looks like. It looks very good, to be honest. It looks very, very clean. Very nice. First, you have the shifters at the back. You have uh, the buttons. Buttons are going to be super important. I hope the buttons are going to be very stable. Because uh, yeah, the buttons are the... They even have two shifters, actually, on each side. You have, like, a normal one. And then one down here as well, on each side. The thing is, I'm just not sure if it's going to be enough buttons for me. That could be a bit of an issue. <laughs> I hope I hope it is going to be enough. Yeah, very nice. Very clean. So, so you even have, like, the small back here. It's nice. And now, the actual heavy part. The desk mount. Wow, holy shit, this is heavy. Jesus Christ. Okay, this is actually very heavy. Holy moly. Hey, this weighs like 15 kilograms or some shit. Bruh. Oh, dude, why is this so heavy? Holy shit. That's a, that's a very massive mount. Look at this, guys. Not sure if you can see it properly. Yeah, this is like where the, the actual magic happens. I'm a bit too clueless uh, to, to tell you what all of... Uh, like, all of the things this wheel can do, because, uh, yeah, as I said, for Trackmania, it is technically an absolute overkill. But I still want to try it out. I can also turn the things here. I see this. I think the maximum steering range should be either 900 degrees or 1080. I'm pretty sure. I could actually, wait a second. Let me actually open it on the 11. Uh, direct drive, true force, feedback. Force feedback is Jeep. This is absolutely crazy over wheel. But that's the one we're off. I don't know if it's, uh, yeah, like, the pedals, if you would need to. That's actually, I actually really like it that the pedals are coming separately. Because for my old wheel like for the g923 um when you buy it you have the pedals and the wheel but i don't need the pedals like i have three or four pair of the pedals laying in my basement and i don't need them so like you can read through all of the technical details yourself if you're interested in that uh, i literally have no clue about it like I literally have no clue about all of this. Like, I know this wheel can do a lot, and I know that I will probably not need anything of that, but <laughs> I have it. Why not? So, so we have the base with the... I don't know how to mount it, actually. I guess I gotta read the instructions later. Let me see, first of all, if there's anything else in the package. But I think we don't have enough time until cup of the day to set it up, to be honest. Like, wait, what is this, first of all? Cables, like, electricity cable. Two of them, actually. Three of them, actually. F what the hell? Why do I have... F it's four cables. Okay, so it's basically two with the normal German uh, socket things with the two metal dinger and then wait i also have two with the i don't know what kind of cable is that wait i have to ah i have to unbox there's like i also get uh, why do, you also get them with uh, three of them is it like is it from is it is, isn't that what they use in uh the uk i'm not sure but you get those and you also have with that and then of course also the normal one here with the two can you see it through the plastic yeah the normal german one how many of them are there what on earth Okay, then USB cable. Then, holy shit, what the freaking fuck? Dude, look at that massive, uh, how do you call that? Netzteil? Bruder, the power brick. 
Dude, look how big it is. Bro, if I wanna travel with this wheel, I'm gonna be like, is it cheapers? The cheapers, this is like, I have, I'm, I'm quite tall and I have also not small hands. But this is my hand in comparison. This thing also weighs like, I don't know, like two, three kilogram or something. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, so that's actually it. So I actually don't have a desk mount. Yeah, hello. I forgot to, uh, to get one as well. Wait, Nukrod is saying the table clamp of the wheel is in the box. I'm just blind. Oh, what is this? Oh. Yeah, hello? <laughs> yeah, hello. Wait, is it only one? Is it only one uh, table clamp? <laughs> yeah, it was just laying on the ground. <laughs> Wait, is it only one? Oh, so it's just one. Yeah, hello. So we can actually, uh, I can at least try to mount the wheel. A uh, jeepers. Okay, guys, I have the instructions. I have the instructions. But the instructions look complicated. But let me just place the instructions. Achtung, wir bleiben ruhig, wir bleiben ruhig. Wait, I don't see anything. Step one. Okay, step one is to mount this on this. Let me remove the plastic. And now I already rearranged my camera. Now you cannot see half of it. First of all, we have to put the mount on. How do we do that? Oh. Ooh. Is that supposed to happen? Surely. Surely I didn't break it. That should be, yeah. And then... And like tank. Ah, zack! Okay, easy. And then, okay, okay. It's already mounted. Okay, okay, okay. So I could already mount it. The thing is, it's so heavy. Like, I'm, I'm scared of my desk. Then let me let me just move my current wheel to the side. Oh, oh that's a massive Uh, So, part two. What do I have to do? It looks like I have to use the screws or something. I think this is legit gonna take me too long, guys, to set it up before cup of the day. <laughs> Can I just put this on now? Like, what do I have to do here? Is there anything I have to actually do? But like this, I should be able to put it on, no? I'm sorry that I align the notches? Yeah, they are, they are, they are. Okay. And this is aligned though. Pull the ring. Pull the ring? Oh, wait, what, pull what ring? This ring? No, what, huh? Yep. I can't get into the hole. Ah! Oh, wait, okay, first. Ah! Good. Okay, now it works. Oh my god, it is so big! Look how big the wheel is! What the fuck? Look how big it is. Bro, this is my old one. If I put it on the same height, look how... What the fuck? Does it feel good? It feels like super soft. Like, it's like hella clean. It is hella clean. The thing is, I don't have... I should have we put on the cables before. Honestly, hella clean. But like, it's so heavy. Like, Jesus Christ. It's so big as well. Oh. Ooh. It looks just weird. But I think I just have to put in the cables and uh, it sucks. I think I have to put it off again real quick. Oh, cheapers. So I just have to put in the cables, I think. We have this, with the power dings. But like, I think, uh, like, the wheel is insane, but I think it is literally too insane for me to use, to be honest. And done. And then the other side goes into the wheel, of course. Oh, I got the Swiss one. Yeah! Why did you guys not tell me? How much does it cost? Uh, just the wheel without pedals is 1k. With pedals, it's gonna be like 1.3 or something. Then you have a um, USB cable. Oh, I don't see. Okay, now it's in. So yeah, but that's all I need, right? Look how my weird hole, like this thing is so massive. Like the whole desk is like shaking like crazy. Look when I like, <laughs> it's like earthquake. Okay, so uh, I think I just have to press the on button now and then stuff is gonna happen. Okay, I press on and then we should be good to go. Achtung, I hope. Okay, so now there's a lot of stuff we can do here. This is the interesting thing. Okay, so the cool thing about this wheel is that uh, I can adjust the steering range. Like on my old wheel, the G923, which is still here. Um, the minimum I could go was 180 degree. And I always wanted to go lower, but it was not possible with that wheel. And uh, the highest was also either 1080 or 900. But this one can go all the way to 90 degree. So that I have like very, very, like I only steer like this. You see it here. And that could be really good for Trackmania. Maybe like 120 or something. I don't know. Hard to tell. Like, I could choose whatever I want to basically. Okay. Yeah, well done. Uh, let me close my game. Let me open it. Then we should be good to go technically. Like, now it should work like the, the, the other wheel. We are going the fuck in. Map 17. Oh, this work. Okay. Oh my god. But now I, of course, have a different steering range. Like... Especially on snow car, the higher steering range is, of course, very nice. Oh, holy moly, eh. But this wheel is also very massive in the hands, eh. I should probably, honestly, I should maybe try out a stadium map and not, uh, not one of those. Maybe yesterday, maybe the track of today. Let me check out track of today. Yeah, but for this extra steering range, it could, it's also like so big. It's so big in the hands, eh. 
Oh my god, wait, what is my steering range now? It's so low. It's I have it on 90. I have it on 90 right now. Okay, 90 is gonna be too low. I can already tell you that. Let me try. I did 120 now. 120 steering range. 90 is so low. That's crazy. You of course still have the 99% steering issue. That's an Adeo exclusive. But you can go so quickly from full steering to not full steering. That's actually very nice. Like that would legit help me in Trackmania if I would use this wheel. Like that it's way quicker with the full steering. I don't have to rotate. It's also uh, less exhausting to drive. If you know what I mean. Like it's way easier to full steer. I barely have to do any movement and I can still be precise probably. That's actually really good. That's really really good. Ah man eh. The only issue with this wheel is really, like, it's not an issue for, like, it wouldn't be an issue if I would use the wheel the way it's meant to. But the biggest issue is that it's so heavy. Wow, drift cancels are so easy. It's so nice. I can also wiggle. Look, look how fast I can steer. Wait, I need to, okay, stop. stop, stop. One thing, I need to neo slide. I need a fucking neo slide. Yeah, the camera is shaking like crazy, of course. So wait, can I neo slide? I mean, I definitely can like this. Oh, where's my brake? Oh, that was not my brake. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> so wait, where's my brake button? Here. Hmm. What? I can't use that. Wait, how do you use that again? Zack and then Zack. <laughs> Pro player, by the way. The thing is, like, imagine, like, this is a pretty stable desk I have, to be honest. Aha! First one. We got the first one. Aha! Two. The thing is, if, it's, if I brake at this lower, if I have a lower steering range, it's also easier to brake with the um, with the things instead. Like I can also use the, uh, the 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 you know the things in the back here, the the shifter. On my old wheel, I could never use the shifter because when I steered all the way to the side, like 180 degree, I had to shift like down here, and I almost broke my arm basically. You know. On your way to open the steering, start braking as you are at around 50% steer. Wait for a tech car of the day. Nah, that would be fine to be honest. As long as I don't have to do this, like. Eh? It's time for car of the day. I'm not ready. <laughs> Face cam, yeah. Oh, I did one. But I don't know why. But it's just my brake timing, no? Like, my steering should be fine. Should be fast enough. Fuck, it's coming to later. Anyway, we're going in. Ay, 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 ay. Surely I will get the phone, guys. Surely I will get the phone. Ach du Scheiße. I would like your mama to play Cup of the Day. Check Discord DM. What is happening? Everyone paste the link in your chat at 1924 and whoever gets in is in. Okay, guys. Okay. What is this map about? Bonk. Oh, you got five gifted, Grimaldi. Oh, yeah, in the upload. Thank you very much. I don't have a mute button oh. on my new wheel, so thank you. Um, I just hit the plastic wall at the start, right? I bounced backwards because I hit the exit corner. That sounds good. Uh, happened to me on the campaign map in matchmaking right after I got a raid. Was it even your raid? Was your raid? Oh, okay. What a smooth forward. Honestly, yeah, like, now that I, like, confused. on my old wheel, right, I, oh, the, the lowest I could go was 180 degree steering range. So, like, half a, you know, half a rotation, 180 degree. And it was the lowest possible I could go, and I always felt like uh, going lower would be much better. And now that uh, I tried out like 120 and it's so much better. Like I feel like I could literally be better in Trackmania if I if my wheel would have had supported that all the way. I think my wheel can also go be, uh, to 90 degrees, I think. Some gears here are a bit weird. Uh hell no. Nah. Okay, spam baiting or did he really drive a 46? Because if he did, I'm in the mud. But we all are probably. 
I mean, this time. couple of days more prestigious. Maybe than you had to restart the whole game in the right moment or something. Or you had to be on the server already. No, yeah. Already connected, like, I don't know, let's say like two hours ago or something, and then 51 players played. Bro. Hello, my gear. My car is not starting. Oh, no, Some gears are a bit weird. Okay, very okay just starting. Uh, yes, I got a new wheel. Just trying it out for the first time today, basically. Of course, nothing is working. Oh, I always lose this gear. Is it now also the Logitech or is it now a different wheel? No, no, Logitech. Logitech G Pro. Oh! What? What the fuck? Huh? Yeah. Oh well, my what? god, dude! What? what? I have Actually, to teleport you don't in my miss a checkpoint with the uh, with the teleport. Oh my! What the? Sometimes you cannot uh, even get a checkpoint, even if you drive back into it. So. But I was yeah. just cooking, teleporting man. Sometimes. I am. Oh, I have such Another a bad one. Hmm. <laughs> I do other I, I had to respawn every single time so far. Every teleport. Yeah. We're always right in front of a checkpoint. Okay, I got 15. Yeah. I think it should be fine though after like the first couple of rounds. Hopefully. This one here especially. For me. For me the one before is harder. Yeah, let's see if there comes a lag. Oh! oh yeah, there this. it is. Yeah, this. Thanks, Topo. No problem, so left it. Oh! No! Oh. No way. Where was I, dude? I was like somewhere at the end of the map. Really, the question is how long is the finish time? What? 30 seconds. Oh. Uh -huh. Bro, what? That cost me so oh much. My God. Okay. Jesus. It told me I got 11 out of 10 checkpoints. <laughs> this will take so long. Only 6 chaos. Wow. It's only 6. Wow, okay. I'm in red. Yeah, okay. My actual position is different. Like, there was no way yeah. that I was really like 60th with this one. I got fourth. I have to, I have to ask around. I mean, they did. Uh, I talked with them and they said that. We have time, like, I can get the registered uh, team, you know, no matter at what time. Or like the invited team, sort. I mean, Kanadi, you have time probably for the 24 hours, right? Probably, yes. We'd have to check again what weekend it is, but probably, yes. I mean, it's after World Cup as well, so I guess that Massa would also have time. Ah, uh, but... Uh, <laughs> it's 9th That's and 10th it. of November. Yeah. Is that this weekend? Uh, yes. Yes, The unfortunate is the fact that also RPG Night Cup is this weekend. On the say at the same time. Also it starts earlier, but will of course go longer. But there will be two RPG Night Cups in a row. Oh no, I might be out actually. Ah, the thing is, I don't think I can play the Got the first one without lag? Like. I probably have to leave in like 10 minutes. I wanted to visit my parents. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm out. Yeah. GG's. More like my house chat. Uh. There. So unsatisfying if you drop that gear. You never get a tricky back. Oh my god, I dropped the gear now in the red. Dude, I'm just flip flopping. <laughs> like, I was like.
first at the start, then 20th after losing that blue gear, then I did a very good red Super turn, first. was up into first again, and then lost the gear back down to 10th. <laughs> yeah, I had the same card. I still like, had a I good run, like, to be honest. Like, I did 49.3 yeah. and I got like 3, 4 gear downs or something. Did they just send it to you or did you ask? Uh, like, when we got our Logitech sponsorship announced, we got asked what products we wanted. We could chose like everything. We got oh, like new okay, mouse, new keyboard, new new everything to be honest. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. Like, is there a limit or not? Not really. I mean like, only what you really like need. But, bro. I got like the entire stuff you think about, like headsets, a microphone, I basically we got like an entire setup. Except for the actual PC. Oh, I'm cooking right now. Please but would that also this. work? Would you also get a PC? But not from Logitech. No, but from Predator maybe. Probably. Or at least parts of it. I mean, that's so OP. <laughs> you just get oh, everything. Oh, I fucked up the ending. Oh, that was such a good one. That should have been a 46. I probably have to leave the server, guys, in five minutes. I'm super sorry. I would love to play through the ending, but... Oh, bumped on this plastic. A little bit. Funny hop. What? My gear? Bro. My gears are so bad here. <laughs> we blame it on the wheel, guys. <laughs> so heavy, man. It's so crazy. If you compare it, if I compare it with my other wheel, <laughs> it's so crazy how much bigger it is. I mean, it looked massive, actually. Like it, oh, like it reached you. Like it was the size of your entire torso or something. <laughs> yeah, it, it really is. Like it's crazy big. Also, the wheel itself is like bigger. Feels like driving a bus. <laughs> was your loser bracket match actually also on stage? Like, I didn't check that as, at all where you went out. Nope. I don't even know if it was streamed. I think it was actually not. Because it was only a loser bracket and the other match was on stage. Maybe the B-Cast stream it, but... Oh! I'm such an idiot. Man, I could have won three rounds in a row really fast, but I just respawned accidentally. <laughs> oh, shit. Like, 48 is pretty pretty easy, to be honest. That's a crazy map, Vixer. That's true. Kinda sad that it uh, didn't get into normal... I mean, that the cover didn't work. Like, it's a bit... tricky. This map, but you don't. Uh, you can get that kind of time pretty quick. My engine, what the fuck? I lost the gear and my engine stalled for three seconds. I don't know. Ah, 48.3. I think I would see him if he Oh, wicked! Him. Oh my wow, god! Navy! Holy, holy shit! That was wicked, did you also see it? <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Oh, I checked the VOD a little bit from the bingo match and. Man, I. So stupid, they cut away literally as I was driving the winning run. They cut away. Yes, we were also That's wondering. So stupid. And then they also didn't see, like, I had a perfect clap with Margie, and they cut that out. It hurt a little bit even after, but like... I had that it on my board. That you couldn't see. Yeah, but you were a bit behind the pillars. You can only in the back seat. Okay, I'm almost at 47 now. That would be the only open planet incident. Yeah. It happened on your seat. 
Yeah. This guy hiding the car number. Cheating. The guy hiding the car number who's playing Camp Two. Actually, really funny that the people that were then on that seat were you and Rizzy. <laughs> After. Nope. I don't know if I think Rizzy also uses Camp Three, right? Yep, but all Camp Three. Oh, I cooked. Forty-six point seven. Tuck. Nico, and now what I have to fuck? leave, sadly. <laughs> what do you mean you're getting a 47, Zoli? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. That's a giga yeah. way to end. <laughs> that was the first run where I got all of the gears clean. And bye-bye. <laughs> <Bruh. laughs> <laughs> Just guys, yeah, see, okay, you see you. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow.